just thought I'd take you through how we set up our desert lizards. Got lots of people asking me. So for this, I've got um, taking them apart, but two 90 mils, two 100 mils. So I like to run 90 mils at the front and hundreds at the back. Um, don't get them mixed up, which is why I've laid them out. So these have got slightly longer shafts on here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the softest springs here. Let's see if I can line you up a bit better. Hang on. Smallest, softest here. And the longer, softer ones here. And then the same again, smaller, softest. And these are a bit longer because they're hundreds in there. Um, although I'm tempted, no, I'm going to stick with it. Uh, I'm tempted to swap out the fronts for these, which means it won't sit as low, but you've got more, better compression. But no, we'll go with what we know. Okay, so got these all set up. Um, we're going to start by what we'll do is we'll strip one of these down. So there's two ways you can do this. The proper way and the lazy way. So you can, and I don't know whether you'll see it on the GoPro, but somewhere in there there's a little C-clip or cert clip And you can pop that off and you can slide everything off that way. Uh, what I'm going to do, which I tend to do, is just grab the end of this. And take that end off like so, wind it out of there, take that off, and then you've got to be a little bit careful, but just take that off there. And what's going to go on there is the longest one is going to sit on there. And that's going to keep our shocks compressed all the time. But while we're in here, what we're going to do is we're also going to Try and get some grease inside of here. Uh, and this should pop out. Or we'll try and push the grease in through there. But I'd like it to pop out really. But I can see there's a, can you see there's a little thread there that's bent up? Which is not what I want to see really. So I don't think that's going to come out. But what I like to do is to just put some of this in. Uh, <clears throat> some green grease. <laughs> Top tip. Undo this a little bit before you got your hands all covered in um, stuff. Because once you've got silicon somewhere, it's a bit of a nightmare. So, oh, there we go. So we're going to try and get a bit of that in here to go around all these seals and just pop it in there. This will help kind of stop it from leaking. Although to be fair, I don't have a problem with leaks with these things at all. But what it will also do is it lub lubricates up the seals. So you get a really nice smooth running because it's all about the smooth running. So we're trying to get a bit in there as well. Like that, we'll get that all in there and get those seals all nice. Like that. And that will help seal it all up. Then I'm gonna pop that. So we've got the longest, softest spring. We're gonna pop that back in again like so just push it through slowly because it's going to push out a bit of that grease at the same time like so wipe that off there's no clean way of doing this by the way and then what we're going to do is we're going to pop that back on there so put that back tighten it up Get a good hold of something there. And then, oh, don't 
use your tools to put grease in things. Right, give that a wind up. Like that. And then we're gonna move on to oil. Now, the most consistent grade of oil that I can find is the core oil. Which are these here? Here we go. So today we're going to use these two. We're going to put the 450 in the longer shocks, which are the rear shocks to slow the rear down. But I want the, the front moving a little bit quicker, so I'm going to use some 250 CST. Um, so that's nicely in there. That feels really nice and smooth already. So it's running nicely. We're going to pop this off here. It's nice, it's a new oil day. So again, nightmare to get into. There we go. Pop that on there. When you're filling these up, you want to do up to about 70% of the way up. Drop that in first, which is your softest, shortest spring. Drop it in the tube. Fill it up like this. Nothing's coming out. Didn't get the foil off properly, did I? No, I did. Oh, yeah. There's also a little bung in there. Pull that out. There we go. Now we're happy. So 250 into the tube and we're going to go about 70% up. So if you look, there's, um, you're not going to be able to see this on camera, I don't think. But basically you go up to just below the threads. Seems to work quite nice. Um, get ready with a little bit of kitchen roll. You can never have too much kitchen roll on hand when you're doing these things. Pop that in really slow. The idea is not to get some too many bubbles in. Move the grease out of the way. And then pop it in. And it will just come up to just below the thread. Like so. As we wind it down, you'll see the top will come up because that'll mean we've just got it about right. There's a little bit of oil seeping out, which is just right. We don't want to get it airlocked because there's no space. So we're pushing out all the oil we want. Just wipe it away. Something like that. And push it down, get all the air out, use the little spanner and do it up. Now, you want it to cinch right down onto the top. If it doesn't do up, which it's not doing in this case, if it does up when it's like that, but it won't do up when you're pushing it down, you've got a little bit too much in. So just loosen it off and let a little bit more out. That should be enough. What you want to be able to do is to tighten it all the way down, but with it like that. So again, if I release it, it's going in. So I still think I've got a bit too much in there. So I'm just going to drop it out a little bit more. These have got little channels cut in the edges so that in the, the thread so that oil comes out. I'm just going to drain off a little bit more. I don't want it locking up and I want to make sure I get that full travel in there. So got my little pot, just a little bit out of there. Let's try that. I don't think I've ever done a set of these where I haven't got oil everywhere. Like that. Push it down, do it up, make sure it goes all the way and closes. That feels good. Can you see that that has all the way round has done up? Like so. 
wipe it down again wipe off that grease off the outside so there we've got really nice smooth action you can see what's happening already in that the spring is pulling it down we've got a little bit of bump at the bottom but as we pull it up nice and smooth and it's pulling it back down again and that's not bouncing off the air it's bouncing off the springs which is what we want it feels really nice and smooth so there we go that's kind of step one now the other thing that i like to do um, because i find these bind up and you can feel it as soon as you try and move it they're really stiff the little ball ends so we're going to pop one of those out like that and put that to one side and then what we're going to do we're going to get an enduro sized ball end there we go and we're going to take it out of there like so and we're going to pop that in there and they fit in just right the only thing is you can push them through so you just got to be a little bit careful If you're worried about it going all the way through, I put a screwdriver in and then it stops it going. But what you'll see is that that is nice and loose. It's much more flexible and that stops when the, the rigs move side to side or when it's pulling at the sides. It just gives it a bit more flexibility and that really helps, just makes it a little bit better. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, when I mount these on the um when i mount these on a the car what i like to also do is mount them upside down so all of this weight is on the axle and this is on the chassis and that just gives you a little bit more weight in the right way and that's it really so to recap we're running 250 seat wt oil we've got the softest spring in the bottom of the tube longer softest string spring on the shaft we've put some green grease just to keep things smooth got some of that green grease that's the year racing shock or o-ring sealant which comes with its little spatula and that's it so i hope that hope that's helpful hope you can um try it out yourselves let me know how you get on